I think our, all our workshops should be at least virtual, then our voting session should be in person. Uh, I might have the future. So way the future. We're alive. We're alive. Well, I'll say it live, Madam Clerk, also. I, I'll be on the record with that one. Okay. We're alive. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Patterson Municipal Council, I welcome you to the special meeting of the Municipal Council. The meeting is now called to order. Madam Clerk, Clerk please call the roll. Yes, Madam President. <laughs> Roll call for municipal council special emergency meeting March 10, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. Councilman Abdel Aziz? Present. Thank you. Council Woman Khan? Here. Councilman Dabru? Councilman Jackson? Councilman Talik? Councilman Mendez? Present, Madam Clark. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Councilman Rivera? Councilman Dredge? I'm present, Madam Clerk. Thank you. Madam President. I am here. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Clerk, can you please read the special meeting notice? Yes, Madam President. Notice of meeting without 48-hour advance published notice as an exemption to the ordinary advance notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act. Please be advised that the Municipal Council of the City of Patterson a scheduled a special meeting for Wednesday, March 10, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. held via Zoom due to the current pandemic. As is a practice for City of Patterson public meetings over the course of the current pandemic, the meeting was broadcast on the City of Patterson YouTube channel and or Channel 77 Cablevision and or Channel 32 Verizon with remote participation in the public portion by dialing into 973-321-1579 and enter ID code 8326. Press star 1 to listen to the meeting. Press star 2 to leave a recorded comment. And star 3 to be added to the speaker list. The ordinary notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act codified in pertinent part at NJSA 10.4-8D and NJSA 10.4-9A would require this notice to be published no later than 5.30 p.m. on Monday, March 8, 2021. However, it was necessary to call this meeting pursuant to NJSA 10.4-9B because of a matter of such urgency and importance that a delay for the purpose of providing adequate notice would be likely to result in substantial harm to the public interest. NJSA 10.4-9B1 to be addressed by the following. Item number one. Resolution ratifying a memorandum of understanding between the City of Patterson and Patterson Public Schools formal action to be taken. The said matter of such urgency and importance that it delayed would be likely to result in substantial harm to the public interest. NJSA 10.4-9B1 is that the effectiveness of local response to the COVID-19 pandemic can materially affect the health of Patterson residents, thus providing reason for the Municipal Council as a successor to the City of Patterson Board of Health to evaluate local pandemic response. On Wednesday, March 10, 2021, the meeting was called and notice was given by posting at City Hall, 155 Market Street, by filing it with the City Clerk and by sending the notice via, by fax or email to the Herald News, the record, and other newspapers used for public notices as required by NJSA 10 colon 4-9B3. Other than a short public portion required by NJSA 10 colon 4-12A, this meeting without 48 hour advance published notice was limited to discussion of and or action on the above described matter. Madam President. Madam Clerk, do we have any speakers for the public question? I'd like to open public question. Okay, let me just check with IT. And um, at this time, the public portion is now open. And 
Anyone who wishes to participate may dial 973-321-1579, enter code 8326, press star 1 to listen to the meeting, press star 2 to leave a recorded comment. And anyone who wishes to be added to the public portion list, press star 3 to be added to that list. Uh, Madam President, at this time there's no one. Would you like us to just wait, give them a minute? Yeah, can we give them a minute, Madam Clark? Okay, sure. One second. I'll just repeat the number again. Dial 973 for the public portion, 321-1579, enter code 8326, and, uh, and press star 3 to be added to the public portion list. 973-321-1579, enter code 8326, and star 3 to be added to the list, or if you wish to speak. Okay. Oh, so let me slip up. Is there someone on, Ryan? I feel like someone is here. Someone is on? Oh, that's your line. That's from your end? There was a number here. Oh, that's us, that's us. That's oh, okay. Okay, so they're from giving them, 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 them like a minute. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Madam President, I didn't have my timer, so I'm going to set my timer now and start and in, in, in one minute. That's what happened. Thank you so much. Okay. And then we just maybe can just move on. Do we have any speakers, Madam Clark? No, 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 Madam President. No. There's no speaker. My one minute is up. Do you want to entertain a motion to close? I have a move to close by Councilman Abdul Aziz. May I have a second? Second. Second by Councilman Mendez. Roll call, Madam Clark. Yes, Madam President. Roll call to close the public portion of the special emergency meeting of March 10th, 2021. Councilman Abdul Aziz? Yes. Councilwoman Khan? Yes. Councilman Mendez? Yes. Councilman Dumez? Yes. Thank you. Madam President? Yes, Madam Clerk. The vote is five in favor, four absent. The public portion is now closed for the special emergency meeting. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Can we now proceed with item number one? Yes. Next item on our, on our special meeting agenda is item number one, and it reads resolution ratifying a memorandum of understanding between the City of Patterson and Patterson Public Schools, Law Resolution 21-116. So move. Motion. Moved by Councilwoman Mims. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilwoman Cotton. Any discussion? Roll call, Madam Clerk. Yes, Madam President. Roll call in item number one for approval, Councilman Abdelaziz? Yes. Councilwoman Khan? Yes. Councilman Mendez? Yes. Okay. Councilman Velez? What is this for? Okay, resolution ratifying a 
Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, between the City of Patterson and Patterson Public Schools. Okay, this is a voted for discussion? No, I'm in mean, roll call. I mean roll call. Roll call of what? To, to approve it? Yes. Order, Council President. We're, we're on roll call, so either he votes nay, yeah, or stay. Madam, Madam Clerk. Yes, sir. Okay, I missed the part of what we're doing now. I heard that you read it. What are we doing? To approve it or not? Yes, sir. I mean roll call to approve the resolution. Without a discussion? We, um, I, I asked, was there a discussion and no one said anything? And then we moved into roll call. Well, what happened is, Madam Madam President, that somebody was going to give a highlight or, or some nasty of, of what his MOU was uh, and, and what entail. I believe Madam Madam uh, um, uh, Corporate Counsel was going to have that discussion or whatever before even going to vote. That would have been discussion. We're now in roll call at this point. Council Member Lads, we can't allow them to do that. We're, according to Robert Orders of Rules, at this point, um, it's up to you what you would like to vote. Yes, no, or abstention. Well, based on, on the need that we have, so uh, with the public schools and the pandemic that we're going through and uh, the meeting that was conducted as an emergency, my vote is yes. Thank you, Councilman. Madam President. I'm really glad to see this happen. I want to thank uh, the Patterson Public Schools, our superintendent, Ms. Schaefer, our school board commissioners, to this council that came on tonight. Um, we are in great partnership because our kids matter, our families matter, our city matter. Uh, thank you, Madam Clerk, um, for uh, this opportunity on tonight to come together to make sure that our people in the great city of Patterson are vaccinated. My vote is yes. Thank you, Madam President. The vote is five in favor. Four absent, item number one is hereby adopted. Uh, Madam Clerk, I would like to call this meeting to close. Move okay. to close. Move to close by Councilman Abdelaziz. Second okay. by Councilwoman Mims. Roll call um, to move to close, Madam Clerk. Yes, Madam President. Roll call to close the special emergency meeting of March 10, 2021. Councilman Abdelaziz. Council President, this has got to be a record. I am extremely happy that it's virtual and people that did their due diligence, read the item, knows what they're doing and ready to vote. But I do want to put something on the records for the residents. Today we're doing a merge, uh, we're, we're vote, we voted on our agreement with the school district for testing. I've reached out to, uh, I've been working hand in hand with the administration, our county commissioners, and, um, and uh, some of my council colleagues. I know I spoke to Council President Mims and Councilman Khan from the Health Committee. We have a bigger picture, all right? One site is not going to be enough as the vaccines come in. The county is willing to open up a mega site here in the city of Patterson and take it a step further and create a separate link just for Pattersonians for appointments also. So we're, we, 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 we're looking at the bigger picture. As vaccines become more and more uh, accessible, we need to be, make sure that we have multiple sites running in the city and I'm working hand in hand, like I stated, with the administration and the county commissioners and the county administrator to try to get that. Hopefully this council will be getting something from the county because it's making the service better. They're going to hold the mega site here and they're going to make a link for appointments just for Pattersonians, a separate link, not through the state website because we've heard the mix up. So just like the Pattersonians that went to St. Joe's, in, out, get your stuff done. I'm hoping we can get that with the county. Um, Council President, excellent job. My vote is yes. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Councilman. Um, Councilman Khan? Uh, thank you, Madam Clerk. I'm so sorry. I just want to say that um, I want to, um, you know, there's so many things that we need to do and so many things that is so important. Um, we're still going through this pandemic and, you know, we're trying to get as many people uh, vaccinated as we possibly can. And I could just say that I, you know, it's so disappointing that this item was on last night and it was taken off knowing that it was, it, it was so important. I mean, we didn't even have a discussion um, that this was an important item that we needed to get done. You know, and and I can tell you that our uh, Patterson Board of Education truly, truly, truly uh, do their best uh, working with us uh, we had an excellent program today at Kennedy High School with the Interfaith uh, Performing Arts Center. 
where we gave out prizes to um, uh, arts and essay contests. And I'm going to post some pictures later, but it was absolutely wonderful. And I got to say that our superintendent and, and the staff up at Kennedy High School opened up the building for us to be in there. We didn't, we couldn't have a lot of people, but for those children that uh, came in first, second, or third place, they were so thrilled to be able to come in. <laughs> they were actually happy to come inside the school building again. If you could see how they felt of being inside the school again. These kids have not been in school since March uh, of last year. So with that being said, you know, this was an important item. It should have never been taken off last night from the agenda. We should have had more discussion about it. But we must do our best to work together, work with every um, every aspect of the city, whether it's our school district, whether it's our housing authority, whether it's our parking authority, you know, we as a city and we as elected officials uh, must do our best to, to, to work together. With that being said, Madam Clerk, and um, my board is yes. Thank you. Councilman Mendez? Uh, thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, uh, definitely, before my vote, um, I, I, I definitely need to say that we need to continue working on share services in the Birmingham and working in partnership uh, with all the different entities and Patterson Public School is one of the most important. We need to work, you know, hand in hand with the uh, school district. We know we need those building. We know we need the facility. We got to work together, uh, you know, to provide better service for the community. We are in the, in the middle of the pandemic and we got to do the job, uh, you know, we, and, and we need, we have to stay together. But something that I'm looking forward uh, for the administration to, to do uh, uh, Madam BA is to, you know, the uh, shared services agreement is something that, you know, it has to be placed with not only with the school district, but with the housing authority, with the parking authority. But something that I see that we're not doing is going back and review the term, uh, the term and condition of the shared services agreement. And this is something normal. Every year, uh, different municipalities, they go back and they review it because there's, there's, there's always room for change and improvement. So I think that that's something that we should start implementing, uh, looking at, you know, what are we doing with the housing authority? What are we doing with, with the parking authority? And, and what are the terms? So I think that, that will, that's going to help us to improve it and, 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 and at the same time, you know, to provide better service and more opportunity for our community. Uh, you know, and uh, I just want to mention before my vote that I was at International High School at the uh, vaccination center, and I got I, I to do that, I got to say this, because there was 300 vaccines that were provided for class of residents. And something that I like it was the way, uh, the way that the health department conducted uh, the operation after 300, they crawled the, they crawled the line, uh, there were no people waiting outside, all the senior went out, went in first. So I, I definitely got to insist that any operation, any vaccination operation, uh, I, I definitely, we got to keep in mind that Dr. Popers have to be overseeing those operations because I see that, that he's doing a good job uh, at International High School, and I hope that we can continue doing that throughout the city. So with that being said, uh, my vote is yes. Good night, Patterson and Council Cowley. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Glass? Yeah, I just want to take this, this opportunity to uh, thank the, the number one uh, um, partner of the city of Patterson, the Patterson School District, Patterson Board of Education. Their commissioners uh, put in uh, this hard work uh, to put an MOU together with the administration and making sure that the people that are going to get the service are the people of Patterson and making sure that they are number one in our agenda. You know, I encourage uh, the residents of Patterson, please get vaccinated. Uh, go out there and get vaccinated. Go to the different site that they're vaccinating people with the COVID-19 vaccine, or then no Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson. Well, you will save your life and you will save the life of others. So um, thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, thank you, Madam President. My vote is yes. Thank you, Councilman. Madam President. And so I have to agree with all of what was said by all of our uh, the council colleagues. Um, as a former school board me member and a parent and a grandmother, um, it's very important that we ensure that our children, our educators, our community, 
um, is safe. We've been having, and I know I heard Councilman Mendez talk about it, we've been having um, meetings and we are definitely working on those shared service agreements. What we've been doing is outlining who needs to be at the table pertaining to which agreement. So Councilman Mendez, uh, it's been about five years strong that there's been talks, but now we're actually putting um, you know, putting uh, our, our, our foot to the gas pedal and moving forward. And this is one of uh, the tasks of doing that. And I'm really grateful because we've been meeting with the school district. Um, and in our meetings, this was one of the things we talked about. And I'm really grateful to this administration for working with us in the finance team, working as we did a joint collaborative meeting with the school district and bringing it to a place where we can show um, that we are good neighbors and good partners. We're in this together. Um, it's not just one. I, I love how Councilwoman Cotton says it's not an I, it's a we. Um, and this is a great um, initiative on tonight that we came together uh, as a unanimous a team of five that we came together to make sure that we did this not for us but for our children and for the future of the city of Patterson. So Madam Clerk with that stated my vote is yes and right after you call the vote Madam VA um, uh, she wants to say a few words. Uh, my vote is yes Madam Clerk. Okay, thank you so much. The vote is five in favor, four absent, the special emergency meeting is hereby closed. Madam thank you. Thank you, Council President. Um, I just wanted to address the one thing about shared services. Yes, this is something, as, as the Councilwoman has had the conversation about um, shared services with the district, and we had originally started some conversations with the district, um, and we'd like to also make sure that the administration is included in those as we go forward um, so that there's not any disconnect. But with the Housing Authority and Parking Authority, those have been underway. They took some hiatus during COVID um, as the other emergency issues sort of came forward for all parties, um, but it's something that our Corporation Council has been actively involved. This is a high priority for us um, under DCA's mandates, um, so it's it's something that we have had numerous conversations, and, and we'll continue with that and, and keep the Council informed on how those are progressing. Thank you, Madam VA. Thank great. you, Thank you, everyone. Our secretary, um, God bless the great city of Patterson. Good night, everyone. Great. Good night. Thank you. Thanks again, everyone. Good night. Yeah. Good night, everyone.